Unemployment and poverty has forced many of our people into this life of crime. But as we pointed out a couple of weeks ago, the real criminal is in City Hall downtown. The real criminal is in the State House in Albany. The real criminal is in the White House in Washington, D.C. The real criminal is the white man who poses as a liberal, the political hypocrite. And it is these legal crooks posing as our friends, forcing us into a life of crime, and then using us to spread the white man's evils and vices among our own people. Our people are scientifically maneuvered by the white man into a life of poverty. You're not poor accidentally. He maneuvers you into poverty. You're not ignorant accidentally. He maneuvers you into ignorance. You're not a drug addict accidentally. Why, this white man maneuvers you into drug addiction. You're not a prostitute accidentally. You have been maneuvered into prostitution by the American white man. There is nothing about you and my condition here in America that is, that is an accident. It is part of the scientific method used by the American white man to keep us here in bondage, in ignorance, in poverty, in slavery, 20th century slavery. Because we are forced to live in the poorest, poorest section of the city, we attend inferior schools. We have inferior teachers. We get an inferior education. The white power structure downtown makes certain that by the time you and I do graduate, we won't be equipped or qualified for anything but the dirtiest, heaviest, poorest paying jobs, jobs that no one else wants. They prepare us for this. We are trapped in a vicious cycle of death. Inferior jobs, inferior housing, inferior education, which again leads to inferior jobs. We spend a lifetime in this vicious cycle, going in circles giving birth to children who see no hope or future but to follow in the miserable footsteps of their poverty-stricken parents. We saw no solution to our problem. We saw no real leader among our people. But today the whole world is talking, they're talking about the divine solution that he has received from the God of our forefathers. Not a temporary solution which will benefit only the hand-picked upper-class Negro, but a solution divinely designed to solve the plight of the black masses permanently and forever. But the government does not want our people to listen and understand the solution that God has given because the government is against God. I say the government is against God. In order to trick our people away from God's true solution, the government is to trying to is the government is trying to deceive you with a false solution, a phony solution, a deceitful solution called token integration. Don't you know tokenism is a drag? Is that talking money? No. It's a substitute for money. It's not the real thing. It's a substitute. It's a pacifier. When your baby starts crying at home because it's hungry and you don't want to give your baby any milk, what do you give it? A pacifier. A substitute. Tokenism. And that's the same thing that this blue-eyed white man is tricking you and me with today. He hears you crying out like a baby for freedom and justice and equality. And knowing that he can't give it to you, he sticks a pacifier in your mouth. He gives you tokenism, little crumbs, 
He sticks a couple Negroes in the University of Mississippi and tells you it's integrated. And a couple more in the University of Alabama and tells you it's integrated. And another one in the University of South Carolina and tells you that that's integrated. That's nothing but tokenism. It's nothing but deceit. It's nothing but false maneuvering. And God is going to bring chastisement upon the American white man for tricking the so-called Negroes here in this country. God is after him.